Tino. I'm a writer with Billboard, and I'm here today at Tough Con Studios in Kingston, where I'll be moderating a Q&A with dancehall queen Spice. This will be together for one hour. I have my questions prepared to ask her, but I would love for you to send in some of yours as well. Spice, we haven't seen Spice for a while. She's been off the scene for the past two weeks, so we're going to find out what she's been up to in that time. For those of you who may not be familiar with Spice, she has worked tirelessly to earn her title as Queen of the Dance Hall, a well-deserved honor based upon her creativity and her immense talent that she brings to each of her songs, videos, and performances. She's worked tirelessly to find her way through the male-dominated dance hall arena with her barrier breaking accomplishments as an entrepreneur, a social media sensation, and as a first Jamaican artist to obtain 80 million views for her video, So Me Like It. She's also an American reality TV star with a recurring role on Love It, Hip Hop Atlanta, all the while maintaining a heavy touring and performance schedule. But talent can only take you so far in the music business. Without a vision for where you want to go and the discipline and drive to get there, your career will languish. Spice's vision has brought her here today to discuss her latest endeavor, a mixtape called Captured, distributed by 21st Half Rose. So we hope to find out what's going on with Spice, the latest music she's recorded, and we look forward to seeing her soon. Here's Come Spice. You look so different, though, than do I. The last time I saw you, you looked, for lack of a better word, lighter. You look much lighter. What, what is going on? Oh, it's your skin. Do I look lighter? You do. You do. Um, I look that much lighter. Um, I don't even know what to say. I think, um... I'm the same complexion, aren't I? <laughs> to, well, to me, you're so identical as a beautiful, chocolate-skinned dancehall artist, and that is one of your defining characteristics, representing for dark-skinned women the beauty of dark-skinned women. So this, I mean, we've met before, but mainly seeing you from the stage, being in the audience, and your skin has always appeared darker to me than you look to be today. Okay. So it's very striking, so I just had to ask about that. Okay. Um, I don't want to elaborate too much on the complexion as yet. Okay. So we can... I think fans would just want to know, so I have to ask, have you bleached your skin? We don't think them one more. They don't ask them about that? We don't think so. No. Really? Yeah. It is a beautiful song, it is a powerful song, a 
addressing a very taboo issue. Um, it isn't even so much about racism, but I know that you define it as colorism. Yeah, it's, it's not racism because racism is what when um, another race is downplaying another race, and that's what racism is. I don't think it's so much about that anymore. It's not colorism, where it's your own race that is downplaying your own race. Just as I say as a black woman, it's always the next black person that's saying, she blacky, not she black till she shine, not she black till she dirty. Just, it's always from another race. So I've never um, gotten those type of comments from a Caucasian. Mm -hmm. And that's why I call it black hypocrisy. Because some black people are... Um, Hypocrites. That is the first single from Captured, your new mixtape. Yeah. Um, I, maybe some people have heard it, maybe some haven't as yet, but um, what, another thing that's so striking about the song is that you're actually singing on it. You're singing on a one drop rhythm. It's more a reggae song. They used to be more like dance, uh, right. raunchy, but it's a reggae it's um, song a called Black Hypocrisy. Very powerful reggae song. Mm -hmm. yes. So I hope they will like it, and I hope they will like it, um, my, the tone now that I'm in, because, you know, I don't know, I'm black, so, you don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to prefer that way, I know. <laughs> But I, I think you, you know, you're, you're taking on a very, not only a very taboo issue, but um, a very taboo practice, obviously, with um, skin bleaching being an uh, issue that comes up now and now. Right, but they can't match me about skin bleaching because I must say, they must pick up their man and can't confuse me. You can't make when I'm black, you say I'm black. And if you're brown, you say I'm brown. You can't confuse the things. You have to make up your man. So you can't match me when I'm bleach because you say I'm black. Now, one of the uh, lyrics in the song is about, um, this is some things that you've been told throughout your life, as you just right. said, and that um, it, it be, your skin tone, such as it is naturally, that this has been an impediment in your career, something Definitely. that has held you back. Mm -hmm. And um, for the, those of us who know you and know the immense talent you have, you know, and the immense beauty that you bring to your stage performances. They, right. You know, I mean, you're a beautiful woman. For anyone to look at you and see anything other than beauty as defined by skin tone, it's very, it's very mm -hmm. alarming and it's very um, surprising to hear that someone who has accomplished so much mm -hmm. would be told that they're still being held back right. because of the color of your skin. I've been told that, I mean, actually, um, they don't know the song. They probably don't know the, right. the song that we're talking about. You have heard it. I mean, like I said, it's available out now um, on all platforms. They can go ahead and purchase it. It's called Black Hypocrisy. I'm going to sing a little piece of it just so that they can understand where I'm coming from and what the song is about. So, um, so that they outside there can know what the song is about. So this is how it starts. It's not what you expect me to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -hmm
Tabooish. Not everybody or not every woman out there is bold enough to do what I'm doing or to come out and say, but it is the truth. You have men out there who are guilty that, that they are guilty as well because they say they don't want a body of brown in them want or brown in them are and then the other darker um, um, skin women, them feel, you know. Right. So I'm just using myself. I'm not the guinea pig then. I'm using myself as the tool to say, well, this is what you're gonna cause if you continue to tell black women as another black woman that they're black and discriminate them by the colour of their skin. But to all of the fans out there, spice the queen is here and mad mad something. I have a surprise for you as usual. And women are come from you understand? I know I've been missing for a while. I was working on my mixtape, and um, I just took the time out, some of the time to be with my kids, and some of, um, some of the time to work on my mixtape. So the project is ready. It's called Capture. It's distributed by Aculus, and it has 20 songs. Brand new, go on the planet and hand fire, but you know, say brand new song the planet. And it has a lot of meaningful songs. I did this, I did this entire project by myself. I don't have a manager. I don't have a record company. I'm doing everything single-handedly by myself. So this project means a lot to me. Now, you were very much um, in the uh, news, so to speak, uh, regarding Instagram posts that you made about VP records. Mm -hmm. um, and about that fans have been waiting for an album for many years, 10 years to be exact, since you signed in uh -huh. 2009. And the album is yet to be released. Yet to be released. Whereas MVP responded that um, mm -hmm. they are working towards so you want to know what the situation is. is I've been signed to VP Records from 2009, and since this date, I've never released an album. I think it's about five album deals. They've never released an album with me, and that's that's what's happening right now. I'm just taking things into my own hands. I'm not making them be um, be an excuse for me not making it. Because I go a different route. So then I release my album, I release my project then by myself and I sit down and wait for them. Every year is the same thing. Oh, we're working on the album. The album is gonna come. And it's been 10 years now and they've never released an album with me. The title the track on the album, because the, 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 it's not an album, it's a mixtape. The title track for the mixtape is called Captured. And I've also done a song called Captured, which is dedicated directly to VP Records, because that's how I feel. I feel captured. They've never released an album with me. I've been doing everything entirely by myself, managing myself, putting out my music by myself, pushing myself, doing everything. So that's basically what this project is about. So we're going to go to some fans and answer some questions from them as a little break. So let me see what the fans are saying. You want to give me some to hold it? You want to hold it? Yes. Okay. So let me answer some some fan questions and then we can um hey guys wag one let me say we get the cake so <laughs> Why did you delete all your pictures of your IG page? It's not moving. It come like a freeze rebel. All right. So basically, we delete all of the pictures, them, and videos because of this new project that I'm working on. I really wanted people to gravitate solely to this um, project that I'm working on called Captured. And that's really why I deleted all of the other, you know, performances. And I never want a distraction. That's really why I deleted it. We shall have a question. It's not moving, Rebel. Work with it. Work with it. Work with it. My team is here with me now. Big up dancing, Rebel. Big up TC. Pretty, pretty. Welcome to the gang. So you know, say dancing, Rebel, and nutmeg. And you know, say TC, a cinnamon. And you know, pretty, pretty, come in, so she know you're funny now. Mm-hmm. A porridge, me, I make. Somebody say, can you please remove the shades? Can you remove the shades? Um, sure, I can do that. My eyes red as usual, but I mean, may I take it off soon? And I'm a stay tuned. What's the question? I know we'll be why well you behind the big step. Yes. Somebody say why you white. <laughs> um, we're going to a surprise room right now, so we're gonna do some local performance for them for free. Yeah, the mixtape is ready. Remember my performance? They must have get some of the best people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm clean. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do a performance for you guys today and it's going to be a free performance 
with some of the songs from the mixtape. The mixtape is called Captured, and I'm going to perform. And guess what? I'm not performing on tracks. I'm performing with a bands, an all-female bands. Ten songs from the mixtape. So stay tuned and walk with me to the bands room. Me and my dancers are going to a live performance. Miss Pat, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Gum di gum di gum, I'm if you tell me di gum di gum di gum. Tear off me clothes, bust off me pan. Titty squeeze up me throat, hang on pan. Titty balance pan the edge and a queen pan. Kick boom pan the and a shake up me. But it gum di gum di gum, the glue di gum. Me a di gum di gum di gum, the grip di gum. And me nah fi use me tongue. Me a di boom boom no big like no chum. Me a di gum tear and a di me. from the mixtape. Mr. Onasa, where the blood clot? Oh, God, we can't buy that. Come on, it's not where the blood Anyway, guys, for those of you just joining, my mixtape is ready. It is called... Y'all didn't see you, but I don't know why I see that. Oh, God. Why did she bleach her skin? Looking good. Spice official came. Big up yourself. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Now for ask if you're a Smurf it or a Smurf gang. Trust me, big up yourself. I love you like that. Look here, Spice. You're not going to make the people them send me home today, you know. They're there at work and I skin your teeth. You can't make them send you home and think of me, yeah? You're not going to make the people send me home. Anyway, so my mixtape is ready. It's called Captured. It's distributed by Apelos. So big up Apelos, 21 Apelos. I mean, it is ready. You can go and all platforms right now and when well, it's not ready today right they're only gonna get one song today yeah everything else is on pre-order so it's on pre-order so only need for pre-order nobody make me tell you about them song yeah them song yeah something something i don't know them song is a talk about the mixtape is ready it's on pre-order you can get it now why my scream looks so foggy Impossible water horse. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, Kim Possible Water horse. Francis, big up yourself. 
Bleach out. Me need a hard copy. Kim Possible, I'm going to make, you get, make sure you get a hard copy. Captured is ready. It's on pre-order right now. Available on all platforms. Them say spice a bleach, but the bleach in reach. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, Spice Official Kev, big up yourself. I love you too. Supermodel, big up yourself. Yeah, we're going on the performance now. Roxy, big up yourself. I would that again now. Big up everybody, yeah. I'm ready to do the performance. That's real. Talk to the people, them now. Hello. Hello, people. Distributor, we're ready. First song, 